Welcome back to Mr. Hassan's Mass Channel. Um, this is a question from a Solomon paper, Solomon B, from the old C4 collection, <coughs> which is part of the end of topic worksheet on integration from my P4 lessons. <coughs> this is the um, one out of the first out of three worksheets, and this is question number two on that worksheet, and also question number two from this Solomon B paper. It's about differential equations and solving differential equations. It says, given <clears throat> that y equals negative 2 when x equals 1, <clears throat> solve the differential equation dy dx equals y squared times root x, giving your answer in the form y equals f of x. So here we have a differential equation, meaning an equation that has dy dx in it. And when you solve a differential equation, you have to remove the dy dx and end up with y equals some function of x as they have told us to find. That's what so <coughs> we do when we solve a differential equation. So if <coughs> if this statement wasn't there, if this instruction wasn't there, the, inst <coughs> the instruction to solve the differential equation would be enough to know that we have to write it as y equals some, some function of x and remove the dy dx. So how is that done? Well, what, what we do <coughs> is the following. Whenever you have a differential equation, I mean, there's different ways that people write it out and show their steps, and they're basically the same thing. But I like to think of things in terms of what's mathematically, you know, what are we doing mathematically, right? What is the mathematical thing that we're doing here? So what we're going to do is <coughs> follow the principle that you've learned for equations since you were in grade <coughs> 6. That what you do to one side of the equation, you do the, the same to the other. And that's what we're going to do. I'm going to integrate both sides of the equation with respect to x. So I'm integrating this side with respect to x. And I'm also integra <laughs> integrating this side with respect to x. Now what we can kind of imagine what's happening next here is <coughs> that... These are cancelling out. You're left with on this side, dy equals the integral of y squared. I'm going to get this ready for integrating by calling x to the power of a half, and here dx. Now, what we have to do is we have to separate the variable. So on the side where we have dy, <coughs> all the y terms have to be there. And the side we have dx, the x terms have to be on this side. So this y squared is in the wrong place. So I'm going to divide both sides by, by y squared. <clears throat> in which case, this will be 1 over y squared, which is the same as y to the power of minus 2. Just using the laws of indices. So this side is y to the power of minus 2 dy. And this side says x to the power of a, a half dx. Now what I'm going to do is something in addition that some people don't do. I'm going to take these values and I'm going to use them. So it says when y equals negative 2, x equals 1. So we know that when y equals negative 2, x equals 1. So we have a pair of values that will help us solve this differential equation in such a way that we will have the value of the integral, the, the constant of integration, sorry. All right, so I'm going to do it in such a way that I don't have to write plus c at the end. Okay, there's, a, there's a nice, easy way to do it. And the way is to write down the limits y and x. Okay, so you write them algebraically on the top, y and x. And you write down <coughs> when y is minus 2. So on the side we have dy, I'm going to put minus 2 in the bottom. x is equal to 1, so I'm going to put 1 here. So I'm going to integrate these with those limits. And what will happen automatically, your constant of integration will be incorporated inside the answer without having you to write plus c and then <coughs> start substituting values of uh, x and y in. It will automatically take place when you do this, when you find that within these limits. So now everything is ready now to be integrated. I have dy and the y terms on this side, dx and the x terms on this side, and I've got my limits put in. So now I'm going to integrate. So when I integrate something like this, simple integration, add 1 to the power and divide by the new power. So it becomes y to the power of minus 1 over minus 1, which is like minus y to the power of minus 1. <coughs> and you have your limits y and negative 2. And if I integrate x to the power of a half, I add 1 to the power, x to the power of 3 over 2, then divide by the new power. Now, if I divide by 3 over 2, 
It's like multiplying by the reciprocal of 3 over 2, which is 2 thirds. And I have my limits x and 1. Now I have to substitute these values inside. So I'm going to have, this is like, this is like minus 1 over y. Okay, because y to the power of minus 1, you can write it as a reciprocal. So I'm going to put in here minus 1 over y, minus 1 over y, take away, and then I've got to put minus 2 into here, so it's going to be minus 1 over negative 2. If I put minus 2 into here, it's going to be, <coughs> I've got to take them away, there's a minus from that. This is negative, so the negative, 1 over negative 2, replacing the y with negative 2. Okay, and that's equal to 2 over 3, x to the power of 3 over 2, minus, and I'll put 1 in there, now 1 to the power of anything is 1, so this gives you 2 thirds. Now, I can simplify this, I'm going to make y the subject at the end, but right now you've got minus 1 over y, plus, actually it's going to be, <laughs> it's going to be minus, isn't it? It's going to be minus, because this is minus, this would be plus a half, so it's going to be minus a half, right? Because this will become positive, so you have minus a half. And this, you can rewrite this as one fraction, because they both have the same denominator. Okay, and what I can do now, to make life easier, to get rid of the fractions, I can multiply both sides by 6, the LCM of the denominators. <clears throat> if I do that, I'll end up with um, minus 6 over y and minus 3 equals, if I multiply this by 6, I'm going to end up with the 3 and the 6 cancelling, leaving me with 2 times 2x to the power of 3 over 2 minus 4. And let me just deal with this, expand the bracket, I'll have 4x to the power of 3 over 2 um, so what, sorry, what am I doing? I'm jumping the gun there. <coughs> I, haven't, so I expanded before I expanded. So yeah, now it's going to be minus 4. Okay. And now what I can do is I can... Um, <coughs> let me make the y term positive. So I'm going to... Um, I'm going to add 4 to both sides and subtract 4x to the power of 3 over 2 from both sides and add y, or y over 6 to both sides, 6 over y, sorry, to both sides. Okay, so I'm just making this term positive and basically putting everything on this side. So you're going to have minus 3 plus 4, minus 4x to the power of 3 over 2, <laughs> this will become 6 over y, because in the end I want to write y equals something, so I'm just getting it ready for that. So minus 3 plus 4 is 1, so I have 1 minus 4x to the power of 3 over 2 equals 6 over y, and if I cross multiply to make y the subject, I'll end up with y equals, or I could do this even if I wanted to, um, <coughs> a cross multiplying is fine, 6 over 1 minus 4x to the power of 3 over 2, and there's our answer to this question. Okay, so I've now solved this differential equation, I have made y the subject of the equation and got rid of the dy dx by integrating both sides with respect to x then separating the variables so the y's go on the side where it says dy the x is on the side that says dx and writing in the limits okay um, you don't have to write the limits and you can just integrate and have plus c all right so you could you'll have minus one over y equals two thirds x to the power of three over two plus c then you can put the value of y and x in and find what c is and then continue but um, I always like to do this. It automatically works out the value of C. And then we have to manipulate our expression <coughs> algebraically because I want it to be with Y as a subject. So there we have the answer to this question um, on differential equations. Other questions on this uh, topic or from this um, worksheet can be found in the playlist that will appear over here. Other questions from integration in general from um, P4 can be found in this playlist. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link. Thank you for watching and see you soon.